All right, so I wanted to do um, just a little tiny uh, instructional cooking thing on how I make my burgers or burger meat or whatever. And sometimes I use uh, different things, like I'll use kangaroo meat, I'll use uh, wild boar, I'll, this is Kobe beef. So at Sprouts and stuff, yes, these are considered what I call luxury meats or different types of meats, but just something I've experimented with to see how they taste and stuff, and I found out if I cook them this way, they pretty much all taste the same to me. Um, but uh, it's good to kind of get a different variety of meats and stuff into your diet, um, if you like to eat meat or think that eating meat is good for you, and I think it's good for you. So, I want to show uh, how I do that. So, over here I already have some stuff chopped up. Take a look-see. Down here, in the bowl, alright, I already have the Kobe beef down there, um, and then I already chopped up some onions on it. So, um, just got some garlic powder here, alright, and if I'm all out of garlic powder, then I usually just use uh, fresh garlic that I'll make. So I just throw some of that in there. Um, you have to decide how much you like. I just kind of throw whatever in there. This is kind of my secret ingredient right here. And this is cumin, okay? And throwing that on there, I think that's kind of what changes everything and the taste of it. So I throw that on there. These are pretty much most of the ingredients that I use for pretty much anything. I always use um, sea salt and garlic and black pepper on everything I do. I'm not going to put any black pepper in this recipe, but for this one I'm going to put about three pinches of this salt on it. Then, one of the things, another ingredient that I put in here that I think makes things very interesting is I like to put feta cheese in it. So, here's some feta cheese. All right, I'm going to grind that up and throw that in there. And I think a little bit more. Again, you have to play around with this, okay? You have to play around with this uh, recipe yourself and see how much is too much or whatever like that. I've never measured anything, okay? So keep that in mind. All right, next up. A little bit of soy sauce, and I don't use a ton of this, just a little bit, just a little bit. That's enough there. And an egg. Sometimes you won't need an egg, um, and usually I will like squish it up first to see if I need the egg in it or not. But I'm just gonna put it in today. So, and then if it's too. Um, the consistency is too goopy, then I'll add some wheat flour to it or something like that. So with all that together, you go ahead and give it a good squish around inside there. Yes. Nothing like freezing your fingers with cold meat. getting colder and colder. So another reason why it might be stiffer than normal is because it is cold. And usually during the summer the fats kind of, the oils and the fats kind of make it a little bit more goopy. So right now it's pretty cold so who knows when I put it on the uh, stove it might actually start falling apart. there so it looks like that so now let's start making some patties and throwing them in the skillet I already have the oven I already have the stove top preheated right there okay so I'm gonna make some patties now And they're already starting to get a little bit more squishy because they're heating up. But let's see how they are on the actual stove. So, you want a thin patty, okay, because if you have a thick patty, it doesn't cook all the way through. And, okay, it's a nice, nice thin patty like that, okay. Put that there. Okay. 
you can add other things to it. Like sometimes I add squash uh, to this as well to kind of get another vegetable in there. I just didn't do it this morning. Oftentimes at work I get asked about what kind of food I'm making. So here you go. This is how I make it. Make sure you have your spatula ready. Right <laughs> the hard part's waiting. I usually put uh, the heat on about halfway, and then when it heats up, I bring it back down to about a quarter, and then when it goes back on, I turn it back up again so it cooks a little faster. But let's check the bottoms. Let's yeah, need a little bit more time. All right, so I think it's time for the first flip. Yeah, these ones are a little bit loose um, when I flip them over, so that's okay. I don't really care. <laughs> but either way, they taste really good, so. Okay, and finally, I think they're about done. When they are done, I go ahead and just throw them in the tupper here. As you can see, that's what they look like. Ooh, steamy. But that's pretty much it. That's how I make my burgers, and I'll use those for lunch and put them inside something with quinoa, like. And sometimes I, you know, use sweet potatoes with them, or I'll eat some vegetables with them or something like that, but I'm just going to put it in the quinoa today um, just because that's what I made. That's going to be a little snack for me later on, some quinoa and some Kobe beef, burger style. That's it. That's all it is. See you next time. Dun.